let's all go to the lobby. Let's I hate going to the movies. Ticket prices are too high, popcorn and soda makes gasoline look cheap, hey. and the guy next to me had his phone out in the middle of Oppenheimer reading the definition of communism. I'm sorry, but it's not worth the headache to deal with all that and have the movie be a, a drunk seven at best. It wasn't always like this. I mean, I used to enjoy going to the theaters. So what changed? This summer was full of releases. Weekend after weekend, a new movie's coming out, oversaturating the market. These are just some of what was released, and they all were sequels or reboots that the- I can't do a fucking take tonight! And they're all reboots and sequels to older movies. They were throwing a shit ton of cash expecting them to be juggernauts, but they ended up being cinematic flops. I'm sorry, but you can only show me Vin Diesel so many times until I get bored. People want something new, not this half-assed safe garbage that's been pushed on us for over a decade now, trying to save whatever fan base they have left. Nightshade's pronouns are they them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. Let them come. Those mouth-watering breasts. Now look, before you all get your knickers in a bunch, don't take my observation as fact. This is simply my opinion. And like many people's opinions, my opinion is the right one. So give me a like and subscribe so I can keep the lights on while giving it. Oh shit. Now look, movie theaters aren't dying off like we expected. Back in 2020, the virus TM and $100 worth of streaming services did put a dent in the theater business, but as of late, Top Gun, Mario, Spider-Man... Oh, I used to have Actually, this one! Wait, why is rare. it still in the package? Guardians, Barbenheimer... All these movies got asses in seats and broke the bank, but like I said, the market is oversaturated. There are too many movies coming out at the same time, and they all have inflated budgets because they're expected to bring in a billion dollars, but due to crippling inflation and high cost of living, that's never gonna happen. That's why my Patreon is 25% off until September 5th, go get it now before it's too late. SHUT THE FUCK UP! My dumbass on average costs $4,000. Is this a North American problem? These two fuckers are ruining everything. Water bottles out of, uh, water out of, uh, when we have water bottles, uh, out of, a uh, plastic, uh... I was gonna put him, uh, put, put... Me and the family watched Barbie, which set us back $60. Two days later, my father and I watched Oppenheimer and IMAX, $20 a ticket. 80 freaking dollars for the drinks and snacks combined! Somebody gotta bust through the TV screen and give me a hand job right there. Going to the movie theaters nowadays costs as much as two Switch games. The average person doesn't have the luxury of watching every single movie when they come out. Instead of watching Batman, I bought it on Blu-ray. Instead of buying Guardians 3, I streamed it on Disney. And those two choices ate away at the total profits. And that is going to be the same thing I'm doing with these four movies. Now look. I love the movie theater, but the cons outweigh the pros, and I already have a huge 4K TV and Dolby sound system in my living room, so my movie experience is way better at home. But I personally think that some movies, like Barbie and Oppenheimer, have that special theater-only feeling to them. Like those explosions, the bass, the frickin' colors, and whatever, all of that cannot be recreated on a phone or laptop. But money is tight, and people can't be spending hundreds of dollars on mediocre shit films. And instead of paying $20 to be entertained, you could end up spending $0 by hitting the subscribe button. Bitch, get the fuck out my party. Go on, fuck your bitch in the lobby. Hey.